My name is Zach Nelson, and you've probably seen this, our four-wheeled off-road wheelchair that we've been selling for a couple years now. It's gotten a lot of places, on dirt, grass, snow. We've taken it on vacations. It's been a lot of fun. We really enjoy this rig and what it can do. You guys talk too much. Let's get started. Today, Cole thinks he's coming for a test drive, but we're gonna give him a kid rig of his very own to keep. But he doesn't know that yet. These are like motorcycles, <laughs> but like dune buggies. Yeah. Cole, how do we know each other? Well, you did become my therapist for yeah. a little. Yeah, for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you did come to my wedding. Mm -hmm. And you danced hard. But my sisters, I danced way harder. Oh, okay. And I was sweating my body off. <laughs> <laughs> but we've been friends for about five years. Yeah. yeah. Would you say Cambry's your best friend? <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Cambry? I'll say you always played games with me. Yeah? Cole's always down to have fun. He always likes adventure. <laughs> <laughs> but there's still more fun to be coming. Let me show you our latest project from Not A Wheelchair. We call it the Kid Rig. The biggest request we've had since releasing our adult-sized full version of the rig back in 2020 has been to create a kid-sized version of that. So we did. We found that off-road wheelchairs are incredibly expensive and for kids, basically non-existent. So we're hoping that our Not A Wheelchair Kid Rig can help fill that gap. We have six different colors starting over here. We have red, blue, crinkle black, white, green, and pink. And these are made mostly from bike parts. We also made sure that replacement parts were easy to find in local bike shops. So for example, these wheels after a couple hundred miles are gonna need to be replaced. You get them on Amazon, Walmart, or your local bike shop for like 20 to $30. Our whole goal here at Not A Wheelchair is to make inexpensive, non-medical accessible equipment for super cheap. And now it's time for Cole to try his out for the very first time. So, step one, if you wanna get in something, <laughs> make sure you got balance or you're not gonna make it. Zach, if I'm, if I'm gonna fall, you gotta help me. Jill, do you think you can make it? That's a big jump. <laughs> Nice work. What's the horn? <laughs> yeah, we need a horn. That's like the first thing. Oh, oh. This is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> All right, you're a YouTuber now. You got a camera going on you. Hey, anybody that's watching this, first thing about this, these are the brakes. 12 miles an hour, this thing can go. Just remember, I'm kind of a professional on this. Don't try this at home. It can be, go a little more faster. Cause I wanna bring some speed. Whoa. I'm okay with it. Oh. Oh. Okay, bye. You want can really this quick. go on? Snow? Yeah, it can. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! This is a back now! Here you go, as much speed as I want! I'll meet you at the playground! Now the kid rig is not all daffodils and roses. It doesn't have the fine tuning or precision that you might find in a medical device. It's definitely a bike and definitely not a wheelchair and still has all the quirks and maintenance that come with bikes. Now punch it. What? Especially the brakes. Just like on a regular bike, we have cable brakes that need to be squeezed by the rider in order to slow down, one on either side. We do have a parking brake that can be activated to hold it in place, but everything is controlled by the rider. We have a top speed of 12 miles an hour with lower power settings that can keep the kid rig at a walking pace. The rear mounted e-bike motor does have reverse and at a full charge, it has a total range between 10 and 20 miles. 
The seat can be adjusted back and forth along the main rail, and the bumper has a footrest skid plate that comes off for easy entry and exit, as Cole did an amazing job of demonstrating on his first try. Oh, you're so close. Nice. I'll use it as a toothpick. Wow. All right, you got your toothpick? Let's get out of here. So obviously passengers are strictly forbidden. I'm just doing the durability test to show how much weight this can actually hold. We recommend staying below about 150, but currently with this test, we're pushing about 250 pounds and it's handling just fine. We have a 500 watt motor and a braking system that when you squeeze it, it shuts off power to the motor for safety. What age the, the driver is? Yeah, the age of the driver should be about five years old. How old are you, Cole? Eight. You're eight years old? He's perfect. So it might be a little bit hard to drive because this, this road is completely covered with ducks. <laughs> they need somewhere to be. This thing cannot do that much sound, so it's hard for most animals to be scared if they can't hear what sound. Like he said, it's very quiet. Perfect it for ducks. Like a cricket. Okay, you, now you can do the talking. Remember, the kid rig is a very powerful machine and definitely not a toy. You should always wear a helmet and have adult supervision. You might be curious where you can ride the kid rig, and according to the American Disability Act or the ADA, other power driven mobility devices that are driven by a person with a medically recognized physical impairment are allowed to go in areas where members of the public are allowed to go, so long as it's safe. And of course, outdoors. Kids without physical impairments can ride as well, of course. There's just more restrictions as to where it could go. And of course, just like our regular adult rigs, the kid rigs are welded, powder coated, and assembled right here in the USA by Utah Trikes, the largest trike manufacturer in the USA. We'll also be including a motor cover with each unit to protect little digits from moving parts. These kid rigs are for sale right now on our website, $24.99, and the full spec list can be found at notawheelchair.com. We're not here to make money on these, obviously. We're just here to bring the price of accessibility down for those who need it, especially kids. If you want to help out, though, you can by purchasing one of our collector's coins. 100% of all the money we make from these coins goes straight into the business, keeping lights on, hiring more people, and making our products even cheaper for those who need them. Generosity from people like you goes a long ways towards giving smiles to kids like Cole. Even just sharing this video is extremely helpful. Speaking of which, do you think Cole is ready for his surprise? Yeah. You gonna throw it? Oh, it didn't go through. We gotta find a bigger rock. Like that. Like that one? That's huge. Try that. <laughs> I'm not that strong. Woo! I'm going on the side of it. Woo! I can break. So what do you think, Cole? What do you think of your off-road wheelchair? Pretty good. Yeah? What would you do if you had one of these? Probably go pretty fast. What does this do? That that's the pretty fast button. I yeah. wanna push it. You wanna push it? Mm hmm Do you wanna keep this? Yes. You wanna keep it forever? Okay, man, it's yours. You can have it. Thanks! <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, dude. <laughs> we have a lot more riding to do. Thanks a ton for watching. I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to check out the current pricing for yourself. And uh thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you around. Hello, whoever's watching this. Please right, subscribe. Buddy. Stay connected. <laughs> yeah,